<laughs> of the redeemed Christian to God. Pastor Brown or you so. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. 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 I will never be. I will never be. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. I will never be. I will never be. I will never be ungrateful to you, Lord. together for the king of kings the lord of lords the one who woke you up this morning the one who brought you here let's give him a big hand give him a big hand give him jesus a big hand amen please be seated for a few minutes i'm sorry for those of us who came to church i, I thought that the first service was going to close and then we do the inauguration uh, service. But you know, days like this don't come all the time. So, bear with us. We're going to be out of this place the next half hour by God's grace. We want to thank God for a day like this. In every day, in every, you know, in a man's life, you encounter some days that really bring you joy. Today is one of those days. I'm a student of history. I, I love history. One of the, my favorite courses in the study of economics was economic history. Because that was how we got to learn of revolutions, you know, economic revolutions, industrial revolutions, Karl Marx, Ricardo, Milton Friedman, and people like this. We want to learn of how you know, people move from doing, making one needle, through, you know, through Adam Smith, into, you know, mass production and stuff like this. I always say the reason Nigeria and Africans are not making progress is because we hate history. What kind of history did the British people give us? Mongo Park, who discovered River Niger. River Niger was there before the man was born. Masa Musa, the golden crown of Ashanti somewhere. These were the things they taught us. Meanwhile, they were teaching their children economic revolution and things like this. I love history. And if I don't spend about five minutes in talking about history, you know, I'm going to leave you unfulfilled. We thank God for a day like this because... In year 2020, Daddy Gio came to inaugurate our state. In those days, we used to be state pastors. Pastor Kale Jaya and I we inaugurated 2000. Okay. Two, 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 what did I say? <laughs> we don't know history. In year 2000, Daddy said, I'm going to finish one and then come to your place. Put me in a hotel in Festac because I want to come fresh. Daddy came to Festac that day and he poured out some things when we picked him from the hotel, you know, upon the province. And then I came here, this place, this church was part of the province. I came here for the first time. Our beloved sister, I don't think she was able to make this pro program. She was here then. God used her to do so much in this place. Please, let's celebrate that. <laughs> celebrate her. Celebrate her. Celebrate her. Sorry? Olori Shola, not a duty. Olori Shola. Um, that's why I didn't mention it, because I'm not really to, but just say Olori Shola. 
Alao. No, it was a, there's a name before. Ade Doyi. Alao. Celebrate her again. I'm going to say something. So I came here to minister and I saw this place. I was on the altar and God said something. This is a provincial headquarters. Many, many years ago. And I shared with it her. She believed. Because soon after that, she rushed to my office in Festac and told me the next plot of land was going to be sold for 55 million naira. My legs began to shake because I've not heard of that kind of amount before. If it had been now, I think one check would have purchased. But that plot of land, I don't think you can, you can buy for even 400,000 naira anymore. Sorry? Billion. 400 million, 400 million right now. She rushed that they wanted to sell the land. We could not purchase it. Then somehow I moved to the island. Every time I drove past here, God would turn my head to this building. I told you something about this building. I told you something, we would drive past. I became interested in this building. And at some point in time, we wanted to, you know, change the architectural design and things like this, you know? And then our pastor who was here then, you know, did his best and all that. Then the time for transfer came. Who will come here? The man we are going to pray for as a provincial pastor today, go back, was made the pastor in charge of the Lost Chapel, which was in a veranda, Lost, you know, in those days, by opposite... Uh, General Hospital Bagada. As soon as he became, you know, he would rush to me. We want to dedicate. If I nicknamed him Pastor Dedication. <laughs> we want to dedicate a um, uh, um, generator. Come and pray for us. Sir. We want to dedicate this. Come and pray for us. You know, I said Pastor Dedication. All of a sudden, he came to me again and said, they have bought one and a half lots of land. And I should come for foundation laying. They started this building. If you go, it was through him I saw gallery upon gallery. He started Lord's Chapel from foundation until the day he, as a parish pastor, went to invite daddy. Daddy came to dedicate the place, the inaugurate, dedicate the building. And daddy took note of him because he's asked me a few times about him. Then he started this uh, parish, uh, the building, was enjoying the building. Daddy sent for me, I said, look, I wanted you to meet somebody. Sent a man to me from Dubai that we should, you know, use this man to start a church in Dubai. We started a church in Dubai, all right. The church was growing. All of a sudden, this man said he was taking the church. He changed the name from Redeemed Christian Church of God to the Redeemer's Refuge. Anyway, cut long story short. Daddy said, go with Pastor M.O. Ojo, the late Ojo Ejio, to go and speak to him. We went to Dubai to go and speak to him. The man said, no. And he occupied our only slot in the, you know, out there there is what you call, um, you know, you don't have churches everywhere. They have a big enclave where churches go and, you know, after your time you leave, go, you know, and things, things like this. I came back. Daddy said, go with the late Akindele. As we were to go with the late Akindele, the man who joined him in wedding, who posted Pastor Sh uh, Shola to come and start this place, the late, uh, the, not the late, uh, you know, went with past the late Pastor Akindele with Elder Wigwe. He said, go with Elder Wigwe. He said, was going to follow us. That he joined this man with his wife. He would speak to him. When, when the man rebuffed us, Daddy said, go back to Dubai and start again. What do we do? Who do we call? All of a sudden, hand, fingers pointed to this man who just moved to his big church. His children were very young then. And I spoke with him. I said, you are going to Dubai. Pastor Omogorede moved to Dubai, left his lovely wife for three months. He never saw his wife. He never saw his children. Started RCCG Dubai. As God will have it, the members who were with the other man, 80% of them 
came back to us. He left everything he was doing. After three months, God said, no, 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 this it's not fair. Bring this man back, you know. So we transferred Pastor Efema from RCCG Pakistan to Dubai. And then he came back to join his lovely wife. In fact, after those, during those three months, when the wife sees me, the wife will make like this. I say, don't, don't blame me. Don't be my fault. Don't be my fault, you know. Today, RCCG Dubai is the continental headquarters for RCCG. <laughs> Dubai has become a, the president as an assistant continental overseer overseen by our continental overseer from Lagos. I wish you, if, if you are refused. Anyway, fast forward again, wanted somebody to come here. And the income of Lord's Chapel was triple the income of this place. He would have refused. We brought him here. And God said, watch this church, watch this church, watch this church. And by the grace of God, here we are today. Anyway, when, 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 LP23 was to be started. Thank God the pastor, um, you know, a pioneering pastor is here with us today. When LP23 was to be started, it was like, uh, the Lord said this place will be a provincial headquarters. But, you know, they are, they are going. I, I didn't hear anything about it. Somehow, miraculously, I came back to this LP23. And provinces were started from LP23, but not this place. Somehow, again, miraculously, I went to the regional headquarters. And uh, we'll be starting provinces. You know, some of the provinces we start, uh, I was asking as we were coming here, I said, what's the meaning of Ajumobi? You know, he said, the several fathers. You know, we met as provincial headquarters. This our pastor, in fact, when I saw him out there, I said, this is your suit. We will dedicate it before I enter this place. <laughs> Let's pray a prayer, prayer of dedication for this your suit. When all the other provincial pastors, they were saying, through three of us, we get together, four, four, four. Pastor Shola said, no, 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 no. I will do it alone. It's unheard of. You do it alone, you are going to divide your prophets, you know, just like we did LP20, uh, you know, from LP, LP3 then. He said, I will do it alone. I'm going to do, do it alone. You mean you are going to divide it? He said, no, 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 no. Let them do what they are doing. The other provincial pastors, I will do this. LP23 is going to birth this place. Please, let's appreciate, 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 appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him, appreciate him. So when he said the grandfather of the parish, because I am the father of this parish, the grandfather, I was I wanted him to hear him say the fathers, but he said I am the you know the father, and then there's a grandfather. It's not easy for one province because Redeemer so expanded. It's not easy for one province to give birth to another province. LP23 did it. God will remember you for good. <laughs> Beyond doing it. LP23 was birthed to prosper because it has 32 teeth. You know, when you give birth to children, they don't have teeth. So you become, oh, you know, to have 32 teeth, you need to be an adult. So this birth, he's going to find out very soon in terms of figures. This birth is an adult province. This province is an adult province. His wife single-handedly started a church of a school. Coven, uh, what was it school, school? Lord Seeds. She's been nurturing this school, nurturing. This is one of the best schools in ROCCG movement in terms of primary nursery. This is why. Also celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> I took time to go into history because we need to know who our leader is. And we need to know how to work with him. He's an achiever. 
His wife is also an achiever. So if, God forbid, the prophecy is going to prosper. If the prophecy does not prosper, it's us that work with him. His assistant, the APICP admin, Pastor Sheon, has been working with us for a very long time, right from 2000 when we became a state, you know, and it's been until he built a house in this area, and then he was transferred to this area. That's the APICP admin. The APICP at CSR, where's uh, Pastor? I didn't know your name was also Okafo. Okay, Unanyelugo Okafo Edoche. Edoche is your surname, isn't it? Okay. It takes, it takes real boldness for a parish pastor to go and invite a state pastor in those days. He was in Oworoshoki somewhere. You know, he appeared in my office that I want you to come and preach for me. Ah, how dare you? Who is this man? <laughs> Where, where's your place? He said, Iyano, Iyano, or... I said, when people go there, do they come out alive? He said, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> Don't forget I said that. I, I pastored in Owuro, Maranatha. So I went to preach for him. I got there, saw his church, and he said, look, sir, what you are saying is not you. We've bought land on the opposite side. And I got back home, Lord, and I told my wife, I said, ah, I went to preach for one man today. You know? Because when God said, take note of somebody, you, you, you begin to follow up on him. I said, I went to preach for one man. And I will be following up on this. this uh... But here he is today, you know, with Pastor Sheon, the APICP. Their wives are also here. Please celebrate them as well. Amen and amen. It's time to do the dedication. Before then, I would like Pastor um, Agumbi and his wife to step forward and his assistants. Let's pray that God should replenish his province. Okay? You, when you give birth to a child, you don't die. You know, when a woman gives birth to a child, the breast milk will come back again. Let's rise and stretch your hands towards LP23 and say, Lord, replenish. Within the next two years, because LP23 has been number one in terms of income for over how many years now? You know, then LP3 will take over, will overtake LP23, LP, LP3 and LP23, they've been overtaking one another. With this province, LP23 is going to go down a little bit. But I assure you, sir, let's pray for him. Let's pray for Let's pray, pray. Pray for his leadership. Pastor Shola, we are proud of your leadership. We thank God for your life. You are not a selfish leader. You could have held on to this place and said, no, 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 we're not doing anything. We're not ready. But here you are today, a provincial pastor, and two APICPs have come out of you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we want to thank you for the lives of your children. We thank you for the life of the PICP of LP23. From the first day I saw Pastor Shola, I knew he was a performer. And somehow, some way, our paths crossed, and we have never regretted it. He took over LP23 when LP23 was number one, and it's been, it's been consistent even till now, interchanging with LP3 from time to time. Lord God Almighty, we see the development and the restructuring, the reconstruction, the renovation that took place. Our pastors went to Maranatha Church for a wedding of recent, and their lives have never been the same. Father, thank you for this, your son. Thank you for the wife you've blessed him with, because together they've been making a good team. Thank you for this. APICPs, thank you, Lord, for the way they've been supporting him. Lord, we want to appreciate this, your son, for the heart you gave to him to birth this province. Lord, replenish his life, replenish his province. Replenish every measurement of income they used to sponsor this place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pastor Shola, you will go from strength to strength. Amen. This is not going to be your last promotion. Amen. Lord God Almighty, your son is going to move on to higher heights. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As his wife supports him, together they're going to be a great team. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is watching you. You will go places. Amen. You will make progress. Amen. 
very soon, worthy intercontinental appointments will come for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I pronounce the blessings of God upon you. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of God will be with you continually. Amen. Money will meet money in your hands. Amen. Money will meet money in your ministry. Amen. You will enjoy ministry. Amen. On account of this thing you have done, your children will find difficulties easy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, wherever they go, favor will follow them. They will succeed. You will be proud of your children. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. And you, his assistants, have assisted him with the heart of sincerity. God will be also, you know, pour out his blessings upon you. We prophesy that this will not be the last position you will occupy in this church. You will go from strength to strength. You will go on to higher grounds. In the name of Jesus. I pronounce the blessings of God upon you as well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. So will it be. So must it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Okay, God bless you. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you. Bless you, sir. God bless you. Choir, you're going to help us with a song very soon. We'll like Pastor Mokorede, his wife, and then his assistants to step up. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. your name. Lord God Almighty, this is a big pair of shoes we are stepping in because our Father in the Lord is the one that normally does this exercise. But the church has expanded so much that he has delegated this assignment to pastors in charge of regions. Lord God, as we stand here on behalf of our Father in the Lord, we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. This, this province was birthed even from the foundations of the earth. We thank you, Lord God, for the life of the pastor you've sent here as the pastor in charge of the province. Thank you for his wife. Thank you for his two assistants. Thank you for their wives. Lord, we return all the glory to you in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We stand here today on the 19th day of the month of September, year 2021, on behalf of our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God Worldwide, to officially, please, 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 to officially inaugurate LP 92 in the name of the Father and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We officially inaugurate LP 92 to the glory of God in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the third time we officially inaugurate LP 92 on behalf of our beloved the G.O. on this glorious day in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. We declare the heavens above this province to be open. We stand here this day and we declare that this province will be the sinusure of all eyes. This province was better to prosper and it's going to prosper in every ramification. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, we stand here on behalf of our Father and the Lord and we declare, you know, joining our faith with his faith, that this promise is going to go forward, it's going to go upwards. In the name of Jesus, this promise is going to be known as a promise of, 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 of passion. It's going to be a pro promise of commitment. It's going to be a promise of performance. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, we pray that every resource that this province needs to be able to maximize the potentials that exist in this place, release to them in the name of Jesus. Every time we hear from this province, it's going to be good news. When they hear from us, it's going to be good news. We use this building as a point of contact for the bigger building you are going to give to them. I stand here with my eyes of the spirit and I see that building. Father, bring it to pass in the name of Jesus. We commit your son, Pastor, a day of Moko day into your hands. Lord God Almighty, as I lay my hands upon him, the anointing to lead, the wisdom to lead, the commitment to lead, the power to lead, the grace to lead in a way that your name will be glorified. Receive in the name of Jesus. The enablement to succeed where even others have failed. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Money will meet money in your ministry. Money will meet money in your hands. You will enjoy ministry. In the name of Jesus, whatever you bind on earth is going to be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose it on earth shall be losing it on earth. In the name of Jesus, whatever you command to come must come. Whatever you command to go will go. Receive anointing to succeed. In the name of Jesus, oh, where the sugar is, this is where ants gather. Your ministry will be known as the ministry of sugar. Oh my God, people will gather around your ministry. Oh, destiny helpers will gather around your ministry. Financial helpers will gather around your ministry. In the name of Jesus, you will not fail God. You will not disappoint him. And once again, receive the power to lead. You are commissioned to lead as an a, as a PICP from today in the name of the Father and of his uh, uh, name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We cancel every plan of the life concerning your life. We cover you with the blood of Jesus. And I stand and I prophesy that this will not be your last promotion in this church. In the name of Jesus, you will enjoy the fruits of your labor. So shall it be. You'll be a blessing to your wife. Your wife will be blessed to you. And together you'll be blessed to your children. Vice versa, they'll be blessed unto you. Ma, as I lay hands upon you, the spirit will lead the women of this province, receiving the name of Jesus. The spirit of a virtuous woman receive. You'll be a blessing to your husband's ministry, in the name of Jesus. You'll be a woman of wisdom. Only wise words and counsel will come from your mouth. You'll be a woman of strength. As you stand by your husband to look around him, whoever has evil intention against God will reveal it unto you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as you lead the women, the women of this church will make progress. In every ramification, they will make progress. Barren women will be brought here, they will receive the anointing to bless, to give children, to give birth to children. Receive in the name of Jesus. I pronounce the blessings of God upon both of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And APICPs with your wives, I also release upon you the authority to function as APICPs. On behalf of Daddy Gio, with this delegated anointing, receive that power in the name of Jesus. The spirit of unity is coming into this province. Because united you stand, divided no, it, that, we don't even need to talk about. You will be united in this province. There will be agreement between you and your PICPs. In the name of Jesus, you will succeed in this calling. You will succeed in supporting this ministry. Because as you support him, your own day of promotion will also come. In the name of Jesus, receive the anointing to succeed. Receive the anointing. In the name of Jesus, and man, receive the anointing oh, to, su to, to, to succeed in helping the Wife of the PICP to succeed. So shall it be. I also pronounce the blessings of God upon you. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. 
I also pray for every member of this province. Promotion comment. This is the least I'm ever going to see any of you. Because before I see you again, your levels would have changed. Change spiritually, change materially, change financially, change in every ramification. In the name of Jesus. As you support this new province to make progress, God will also support you in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that within the few next few years, this province is going to give birth to another province. If Jesus tarries is coming, so shall it be. And for all the well wishers who came from LP23 and from elsewhere, the Lord bless you all. The shout of rejoicing will not depart from your tabernacle. On a daily basis, you will also have things to inaugurate. You will have things to celebrate. You will have things to dedicate in the name of Jesus. I pronounce the blessings of God upon every one of you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be. So will it be. So must it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Congratulations. 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 <laughs>